Today we are going to demonstrate the correct way to mix a bipack of Epotec epoxy. Remember to always start with proper chemical hygiene. This includes gloves, goggles, protective clothing, and proper ventilation. This information can be found on the safety data sheet, also known as the MSDS, available on epotech.com. First, remove the bipack from its protective foil-lined outer package. This protects the material from any possible contaminants, such as chemicals or moisture. For additional moisture protection, the pouch also contains a desiccant. There are two main types of bipacks. One is a burst seal, and the other is a clip seal. Epoxic technology typically uses the more environmentally friendly burst seal pouch as there is no divider clip to dispose of. For purposes of this demonstration, we will use a burst seal pouch. As you can see, the part A and the part B are separated by a sealed area within the center of the pouch. This will burst open for mixing. In order to do this, start by placing the pack on a flat surface and slowly roll one end of the pack towards the center sealed area. Once enough pressure has built up, the inner sealed area will burst open and allow for the two parts to mix together. For ideal mixing, grab both ends of the pack and push the material up and down on a table edge. Once the material appears homogeneous, you have finished mixing. This may take a minute. The material is now ready to use. You may use the material by clipping a corner of the pouch and dispensing as needed. You may want to write down the time at this point so that you can keep track of the material's pot life. The pot life is also found on the data sheet and is important to pay attention to as this is the time for optimum bonding. Additional information on pot life can be found in the technical information area of our website. It is helpful also to have your parts set up and ready to go before mixing the Part A and Part B together.